Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ngozi, an African girl. Um, on today's video, I'll be sharing how I became a pastry chef. Yes, how I became a pastry chef. Pastry is not something I just happened upon. It's no, it was more like something that I've always wanted to do. I've always had a flair for baking, for cooking too, but mostly baking. And um, and then I just, I did just limit myself, you get. But whatever, whatever opportunity I have, I'll go use my Google, get some recipes, I'll try them at home, you get. That was how I was doing. And in fact, the at this point in my life, I would say, um, 60% of the knowledge I've gathered so far is more of self-development. I never went to any culinary school. No, I never went there. So I was using what was available to me. The, I go to YouTube, I get some videos, I watch them, I practicalize them. I go through, you guys, I just go through, use so many recipes. If I, if I, if I, if I see a particular recipe, I use it. I don't really like the outcome. I check for someone else use another recipe right? until I'm able to get like the recipe I feel I'm comfortable with or goes well with me. So that was how this whole thing started. After my um, university education, I went for a one-year compulsory service. Yeah, we go to we we um, every graduate goes through that in Nigeria. Except you're above that age, yeah, then you will be exempted, or I don't know for whatever reasons they give for the exemption. But while I was um, serving, I was posted to secondary school, and I, I, I thought, um, I think I thought home economics, food and nutrition, and then to support myself, I was making one of the um, Nigerian snacks, we call it chin chin. A very nutritious snack, very crunchy. When you chew it, you get crrr. <laughs> oh, good. So, I was making that to support myself, you know, financially. And then, only when I was done with my service here, I said, hunting for jobs. Now, the first two jobs I got weren't related to pastry, you get. And I wasn't really okay with it because it was. It's not what I really wanted, but I just had to make do with it at that point. And I kept trying and trying because I went online, searched for jobs. I, I submitted a, you know, my CV to, CV to a lot of companies online. And then sometimes I go for interview. And then one particular day, on a good day, I think I, I got one of a um, response from one of the applications I made. It was for a pastry chef position. I was called to come for interview. When I got there, I it was a, a kind of third party you get company, a hiring company that hires for the main company that needed my services. When I got there, I did the necessary things and then I was taken to the restaurant. And when I got to the restaurant, I met with this Lebanese man. God bless that man, a very nice man. You know, um, he was a restaurant manager, and then um, the interview didn't go the way I expected. Like it wasn't the usual interview. He what he did was he he told me to give me a site, he to go get some recipes. He told me what he would like me to you know to try out when I come next time for my practical. God, but then I was thinking when I left there, I was thinking, what kind of interview is this? Is this, I don't know, it, it was, the whole thing was just so new to me, but it was a sort of a miracle. But I said, yeah, this opportunity I've gotten, I've got to prove myself. Yeah, I've really gotten to prove myself because it's more like, it's difficult to come by such opportunities, so I wouldn't waste it. When I left there, I went straight to the market to purchase some of the ingredients I would be needing to make the things he asked me to. So I got them, I went home, I practicalized them, 
I used my <laughs> my family as uh, my um, <laughs> I used them as my lab rats to test what I made. And on the same day when I was to go back to to my practical, I got there, you know, in high spirits, wanting to do my practical. But to my little surprise, the restaurant manager told me, Oh, we're sorry we've gotten a pastry chef. But you can work under him as his assistant. And I was like, wow. Just like that. Oh my god. That was like it was the best news I have ever heard at that point point in time i was so elated that my spirit was happy <laughs> then i was happy throughout it's like no like the whole thing just came like so easy so easy you know when god is orchestrating your path ah you know what they say i don't want to talk to a preacher right now but you know what they say it's just like protocols are being broken you know because of you so i didn't get to go through the usual protocol things were just going like like i never expected so that was it and that was how that was how i got the job that was how i got the job and now the learning became to get more kind of effective get i started learning i just started working on a professional level learning some things things i needed to learn basic things i needed to learn from my pastry chef then and then at some point i after about i think a year i left that company i went to a different place you know then i had already gathered some experience i needed left go to another place i worked there too and then the, i think the third place i went to uh, I met this amazing chef, Chef Chris. I learned a lot of things from him. A lot of things. A lot of things. The journey hasn't been smooth, but you know, each stage of my journey in this um, in the pastry world has always been like um, I've always got something to learn. I've always got something to learn. I can take the glory, you know, for the success or the the stage I've gotten to so far. Now, a lot of people made that possible. A lot of amazing people, you know. <laughs> the the first person is the restaurant manager in the first the first place I worked. He was the one that made my this whole dream possible in the first place so i'm grateful to him i can remember his name and then to ah oh, one of the amazing chefs i met chef dennis he has been a blessing he kept on pushing and pushing and pushing me he didn't just allow me to limit myself in you know the pastry world only he also made me to you know go get some to get some experience in the whole section you know the parts that cook that do the cooking and that's how sometimes I do, I juggle between the pastry and then, you know, cooking too. So it has been amazing, an amazing journey. And then ah, one of my pastry chef I learned, I worked on that, a Congolese, Chef Chris. You've been a blessing. You know, Chef Chris is, ah, I don't know what kind of person he is, but while I worked under him, he never for once shouted at me screamed at me he has been so like he was so calm he took his time teaching me putting me through the most of the things i learned like most of the basic knowledge i had in this pastry world most of them were from him i made a lot of mistakes while working with him but boy you would never know you would never know when he come and he notices oh this thing doesn't is not it didn't come out the way it's supposed to be he won't scream he won't shout 
he will just at the moment what is most important for them to him is to remedy the situation so when he remedies the situation the next thing he will, when next he wants to make that thing he would call me and he'll tell me this is how you get while making it he'll tell me this is how you do it this is how you do this that is it that is it chef chris i'm so grateful i am so grateful to you and then you know to the guests to the people that have been eating the pastries i make oh god you know it's because of you that i still have a job i can make as much pastries as i love to or as i would like love to make but if there's nobody to eat them oh god i don't think i'll have anything to make anymore so i am so grateful to all those people they have been you know the guests that have been guests patronizing the restaurants the hotels where i've worked so far good i'm so grateful i've still i've not actually not gotten to where i want to have not gotten there but there is um when i look back at where i'm coming from and where i am today there is a whole lot of improvement a whole lot of it i can't deny that a whole lot of improvement and i'm so happy for that i'm so happy so i would also encourage whoever it is that is watching this video to never give up on that passion you have i guess that fire that is burning in you that thing you actually want to do don't give up keep trying keep trying keep trying yeah keep trying you would you would someday get you would definitely get to do that thing or you definitely get to achieve whatever it is that thing you've been pursuing yeah so my fellow nigerians and my lovely um subscribers all over the world you know i you guys have a reason why i am making this video and please to encourage me to make more content i would like you to subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the like button to share it also turn on your notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you get it pops up on your notification thank you for watching bye